Game of Thrones star Amelia Clark is bringing the class to Broadway this spring in Breakfast at Tiffany's, a brand new adaptation of Truman Capote's classic novella. We're here at the Carlisle Hotel talking to the cast and the director to get the scoop on this swanky new Broadway show. We all know the story, but for the audience members who don't, uh, what is the essence? How do you break down the story? What's the essence of the story? I suppose if I had to just put it into like two sentence sentences, I would say it's a love story between two young people who are trying to find out who they are. They're exploring who they are and the chemistry between them reacts in such a way that they learn who they are during the course of the story. The play's book ended with me in 1957, uh, reflecting back on her, and I take the audience back to 1943 when I first moved to New York, and it's, um, it's a love story to Holly through my eyes. It's a beautiful love story between the two of us, between Holly and Fred. It's kind of, it's young and it's tender and it's confused. Boy meets girl, boy gets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl back, which is how they did it in the movie, uh, which was famously sanitized uh, for, for Hollywood. In ours, you know, spoiler alert, it's boy meets girl, boy gets girl, boy loses girl. Period. What makes this role of Holly Golightly such an iconic character? I mean many things. I think that I think that there's the essence of the fact that she is young and full of youth but has a kind of she is so sort of shrouded in mystery but at the same time as being incredibly effervescent and kind of someone that you want to be around. She's got this kind of never-ending energy. What does Amelia Clark bring to this iconic role? Well, she brings you know, her, her whole Amelia Clarkness. She's just totally gorgeous and wonderful. She's the most beautiful girl. But I think what she, the essence that she brings for me to Holly, which is what I was looking for so much as a director, is her youth. But just having an actor play the right part at the right moment when the world doesn't really know them and the world comes to see them and they go, oh my gosh, who is that person? That's what I feel we have with Amelia. Now, will people be surprised to not see this movie directly translated on stage? I mean, yeah, fundamentally, we're not doing the movie at all. Um, and I think there, there, will, there will still be a lot of people coming to see the show who maybe might expect it but they'll get they'll get something quite different but something pretty damn special mm -hmm.